Hello everybody, hope you're all doing fantastic today. Um, I'm glad to see you all again and uh, I hope you've been going out, taking images, you know, enjoying nature, just doing what we all love and that's nature photography. So, okay, this video is about, you know, okay, so you're out in nature, this beautiful thing with some rocks on the ground, some leaves on the ground, some plants on the ground, some ants running around, you know, Maybe some reeds behind your back with some dry leaves on them. A blue sky with clouds in it, which is, well, not a blue sky. Oh, and maybe some animals, you know? Things with four legs walking around that's kind of scared when you come close. Or you're scared of them, whatever, which way it, also, which way it works, you know? Um, and you have this thing called the camera with you, you know? That thing that you press some button and it takes an image. And an image is something that is visual and, you know, represents um, a memory or moment that, yeah. So you take this camera with you and you take some nice images out in the thing we call nature, get back home or wherever you stay, and you look at the images and you're like, wow, these are nice images. And then you think, wow, but um, the pros use this thing called editing and to make the images even nicer and just bring it to life. Because nature is living, and an image is not, but you can make it living. And, yeah, this is how you edit, okay? This is a, a live room tutorial, back to, you know, normal again now. Um, sorry for that, and, um, yeah, this is how to edit uh, your images using Lightroom. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, now that I've been outside and um, I've taken my nature photography photos and everything, um, I open up Lightroom, I go to Library, and I click Import. And from this window, um, we can select the images we want to import. Um, go to navigate to your folder or whatever where your images are, and then just import there. I've done it already. And um, here are the images. So I've made a duplicate of every one and uh, resetted the settings on one of them. And we are going to edit them. So first of all, let's just choose one here. Something I'm going to edit on Lightroom Mobile. And that's because um, I can't really screen record on my computer. It's too slow and it can't handle that. Um, in general, I edit on my on my phone because even just the editing um, is a little bit too much for my computer. So um, one thing you can't do on your phone is the the calibration um, tab. One tip: this is a very powerful tip. Is you can saturate the blue primary, and that can give a really nice effect to your image. So if you ever edit. And you're wondering you can just want to give the image a little bit more pop go to the calibration tab the, the bottom one and um, up the blue primary this can really improve your image and just it gives a lot a nice look to your image so just do that on the desktop and the rest we can do on Lightroom mobile and let me also show you how I sync the images to my um to my to my phone to my mobile Lightroom mobile so first of all, just select your images that you want to import into um, or, or transfer to your mobile, sync to your mobile. So you do this through a collection. And you make a collection by selecting, holding control or whatever, just selecting the images you want. Click, uh, go to the collections tab, click the uh, plus icon and create collection. Um, and then you can sync with Lightroom. So that is basically how you do it. Name it and just the options include make, uh, include selected uh, photos. And then you just click create and you will see if you just enable sync on top here. That I'm going to do right now. Come on. Um, there we go. Just play that. And there we go. Now you can see it's syncing those. Um, 
those uh, primary blue primary uh, settings that I just made it's syncing them to my Lightroom mobile and um, yeah we will see the changes in a bit so uh, I'll see you on my mobile device okay hello everyone now we're uh, in Lightroom mobile here yeah you can see I have Lightroom open and your synced folder will show up right here so here I am with my images first of all make sure your blue light filter is turned off because that can throw throw off the colors and then also make sure your screen is nice and bright okay now let's start um okay why is this these two look the same I don't know why okay there we go so this is the rule um, with that color calibration of the blue adjusted first of all crop actually it's it's better to crop afterwards but I know I'm not going to use any um, local adjustment filters that could be on the edge and then if you crop out again those are not uh, they can you know create a sharp line that's really not what you want so if you know you're not going to use any localized adjustments that's fine okay now crop is fine my bird is nice in the one third and it's looking into the image first of all basic raw adjustments highlights drop them all the way shadows lift them all the way up that's basically what i do Mid with basically uh, every image um i can lift my whites um but with, uh, with the whites slider, just make sure you're not clipping any highlights. Uh, blacks, I don't want to crush anymore. It's really about there. Um, we can fix that in curves. Okay. Yeah, you can add a bit of contrast if you want to. Um, that looks nice and bright. Um, although I could lift up these shadows a bit more and that looks great that looks great so I'm just going to leave that right there this image really is vibrant enough so I'm not going to do much there um, effects DIs DIs is a very look at that it just you know brings out detail and stuff so I'm just going to add a pinch of it clarity because it's a raw image I might add a bit of clarity but really don't go over the top with this. It can really make your image look like it's a beginner photographer that's editing and, you know, creating these images. Texture, uh, I don't feel it necessary for this image. Um, a bit of vignetting can look great though. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. Um, it just brings your eye to the, to the bird itself. And there we go. We're basically... There you know, there's the before and the after. We brought a bunch of shadows back. Um, well, not that much. We just brightened it up a bit. And I would say there it's it's about the same thing. I think only the crop is a bit different. There we go. Basically the same as, as, as what we had. Okay, next. Uh, this way. Here's our cat. And there's what I have edited before. Uh, I know it's not a great image, the legs are cut off and whatever, but um, it's just for the editing sake. So let's crop that one. Um, okay, we can add a bit of contrast. As I said, drop the highlights. It's basic, basic raw adjustments and shadows lift them all the way. With my camera, camera especially, I'm not sure with other cameras, but with my camera I always lift the shadows all the way whites I push them just until they're not clipping so just nice and bright and this image can use nice blacks um, I also just want to bring up some shadow detail here um, it can look weird if you pull the, sh the highlights too much so just delete that point and I'm just going to drag it down just a bit and we can see it's already looking nice we brought uh, we pulled out a bunch of dynamic range there 
um, let's go to color can use a bit of vibrance and now you will see the image uh, that's already edited is quite brown and I, I I just you know thought I would I want to be a bit of a bit creative so yeah you can see um, this this looks this looks natural but I can uh, if I really want to pull these more to the yellow green side we're gonna this is just the cat itself and I think yeah, it's in the ears that this mostly affects not that there we go we can pull that also a bit to the brown side and desaturate it a bit to pull out the greens the blues eh, doesn't make that well the, the okay that we can leave right there and these won't make that big, big big of a difference what i think this image could use is a bit of you know blue nice sky blue highlights i'm not sure if it will work but let's see mm, maybe and if i bring a bit of greens into the shadows let's see what that does okay i'm not sure if i like it or not but i think it's i think it works uh, this image could definitely work as a black and white as well. Um, and effects, DIs once again, does wonders. Look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. Clarity, you can definitely, you know, bring this out a bit. Texture, no, leave that alone. And sharpening a bit, you know. And then also, j just remember, you use two fingers. To slide this and this adjusts what Lightroom is actually sharpening and that looks fine that so that Lightroom doesn't sharpen blurry backgrounds because then you'll see the noise here we go um, I'm not sure if I like that grading though but it's 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 fine uh, vignette this image could use a bit of vignetting and there we go before which isn't bad and after um, Let's just see. Yeah, that was before. And that's after. Um, then we have this image. Um, what we could do is we can first of all sort by a nice crop. Rotate this. this look, that looks better. And just rotate it a bit. Okay, we'll see that for a crop just now. Okay. Looks like a hair on my sensor. So we can easily remove that by just selecting healing and really just painting. It's going to be easy, easy, easy. See, this is where the crop now doesn't... Okay, it's still there, but you get the point. Yeah, if I crop out again now, there might be a corner that's actually not fixed. So that's why I actually suggest cropping afterwards. Okay, let's start. This this image actually looks right unedited. Um, just bring that highlights down a bit because I want to bring back some detail here. And make sure it's not clipping. Shadows, yeah, it doesn't make that big, big of a difference. But I think I'm going to bring the shadows all the way up. And then counter that with nice blacks. There we go. Really, all, uh, photographers always say don't crash the blacks. But I feel if it looks great, it doesn't matter. Contrast could use a bit of contrast. Let's see. Um, okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. I think could use nice S-curve. I think that brings out a lot of nice nice texture and detail vibrance no i think we're basically there effects once again this image might look great with a bit of vignetting uh, or i i don't have my lens corrections here so it does it 
it already has a bit of a netting which I like sharpening we can do a bit and especially with this image we want to mask it to just a bird two fingers there we go now it only sharpens the spot of the bird and I think that's about it DA's we can use a bit but we don't have we don't we mustn't go to extreme just take that contrast out okay there we go uh, I see my my previous edit was a little bit more of a darkish brown. Let's see if we can do that with our mix here. Uh, we can drag this and just change the U. Or maybe just a bit more orangey. And we can... No, not the saturation, the luminance. Yes, I think that made it a bit darker. Yes. Okay, so that was what I've done to uh, make that a little bit more darkish brown. This could great. This looks very great black and white as well. If you're doing a black and white edit, it could always use a bit more contrast. And it could always use a bit more DAs. But not too much though. So I'm just going to undo that. Undo that. And there we go. Final image, I think. No, not yet. These images basically look right out of camera. So, basically, once again, just some uh, basic shadows, lift the shadows, highlights, drop the highlights, especially this one. Um, whites we can push up a bit, and blacks we can drop actually quite a lot. And now this image is a bit, bit overexposed. There we go. Once again, the rule is not to crush the highlights, but um, clip the highlights. But I mean, that looks fine to me. Um, and now I can, I know I'm not going to do any local adjustments. So, um, yeah, how does that compare to what we have? Okay, what we have now is actually a bit more saturated. So we can actually just do that. It doesn't look that bad. Um, although we can lift the, the vibrance and drop the saturation also. That could also work. Okay, and then final image. This you can see has a bit more aggressive edit on it. So, okay, let's start with once again basic raw editing. Drop the highlights, lift the shadows. This was taken with my phone. Um, push the whites till it just looks bright. And this could use nice deep blacks. I think this is a bit overexposed. There we go. Bit of contrast looks nice. Okay, and let's see what we can do with the curves. I really don't know what, what I'm planning, but this could use... A bit of a faded look in the blacks. Okay, there we go. I think that looks really nice. Already from what we had, it's just basic raw adjustments. Vibrance, why not? Effects, DIs, once again does wonders. Clarity, ah uh, no. Don't don't add clarity to a smartphone image. It's just no, just don't do it. Bit of vignetting looks great. And then now let's add a local adjustment. And that would be a nice um, gradua graduated filter. Sorry, I didn't actually edit anything here. So you can see here. Uh, actually lift that highlights not to make the sky too dark shadows and then blacks we can don't want to clip that though that looks just weird and whites I can lift a bit so let's see before and after okay now you can see I added a bit of greeny I added a grade there so what I'm going to do going to grading I think I tinted my highlights Green. I'm not sure though. So let's see. 
Yep, I think that's what I did. And then my shadows, let's see if I tint them nice blue. Wow, yes. Not bad. Almost what I had. Almost what I had. Um, we can add a, low, um, a general orange to the mid-tones. There we go. That also just brings out that orange again. And let's see what a overall blue tint will do to the image. There we go. That doesn't look too bad though. Uh, it doesn't look realistic, but it doesn't look too bad though. So, wow. Wow. I don't think I can't. I can get it any closer than what it was. Just look at that. Almost the same. Except the crop. I think... Or oh, what? No. No, the crop's the same. There we go. That's basic, basic editing in Lightroom. I really like this edit, actually. Really like it. You can do a lot with this image. Really. So, um, yeah, that's, that's basic Lightroom editing. Now let's get back to the desktop. Okay, and then the final step. Now we're back in um, Lightroom desktop. As you as you can see, the image is synced. Now you just Control A. Um, I can't get to my keyboard now, so I'm just going to select one, and then I can go to File, Export, and then at this menu you're going to choose. Uh, the settings, the export settings that you would prefer. First of all, you choose your folder by clicking on the uh, the choose button there, and then you can put it in a subfolder, say edited, um, or just unclick that box. Quality always to a hundred, and then I don't want to resize it. I resized it for the time lapse on my previous video or next video. I'm not sure. But I'm going to unclick that and make sure my resolution is 300 pixels per inch. I don't think that really makes a difference. But I always export at 300 pixels per inch. And that is it. Then you can just click export. And Lightroom will export it to the location that you chose. And uh, that is basically Lightroom Basics. That I, that's how you take your normal raw image um, from from being unedited to being professional looking and you know yeah a very good image so um thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video have fun shooting